Well, there may be no better place right now to see our political divide than in the reactions to rulings that came out of this U.S. Supreme Court as justices wrapped up their term last week. Americans are divided over hot button issues related to gay rights, college admissions and student loans. Republicans have their eyes on 2024, many applauding the court's decisions from the campaign trail. NBC senior White House correspondent Kelly O'Donnell takes a closer look. We are moving forward with another pathway to debt relief. President Biden racing to find new ways to erase some federal student loan debt after the conservative justices blocked the president's first proposal, a decision that candidate Donald Trump praised in South Carolina Saturday. They ruled against it, 100% against it, amazing. Another controversial decision is stoking divisions over gay rights. The high court found that a Colorado Christian web designer has a free speech right to refuse to create gay wedding websites. I think it's it's a real victory for religious liberty. It comes as Trump's main rival, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, Everything in my power. is under fire for his campaign's new video posted on the last day of Pride Month, attacking Trump for his past support of the LGBTQ community. The video then features a sequence showing DeSantis' hard line on drag shows and transgender policy, interspersed with images of shirtless men and photos of Brad Pitt in the movie Troy. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, the first openly gay cabinet member, was asked to respond. I'm going to leave aside the strangeness of trying to prove your manhood by putting up a video that splices images of you in between oiled up shirtless bodybuilders then questioned how that benefits the public. Who are you trying to help? Who are you trying to make better off? Some of DeSantis' Republican rivals also pushing back. I don't think that's what leaders should be doing. We should be talking about how do we embrace our differences. Log Cabin Republicans, a group that represents LGBTQ conservatives, calling it divisive and saying DeSantis' rhetoric has ventured into homophobic territory. A DeSantis campaign official tweeting in response to criticism, identity politics is poison.